Oh, 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 me pulling up to the venue with all my gifts for the first big sign in the media scene. That's great. Man, you actually look cute back then, though. Yeah, I'm a cookie girl shit. You know, um, the movie Up, the uh, the Boy Scout. I don't know. He's Asian. That's great. What is something that makes you instantly happy on a bad day? Sex. Brian's booty hole. That boy weird. Uh, at the concert, what makes me happy is when, when fans bring like thoughtful gifts. So, that makes me happy. Okay. so you're saying that some fans don't give you thoughtful gifts? Um, not everyone brings gifts, but the ones that do it makes me happy. There's this necklace I'm wearing. This one made me happy. Right? It's crazy when they bring the jewelry one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that one too. She made a rock um, with my initials on it. Yeah, that one's pretty good. Bracelets. Fire. This makes me happy. San Antonio had a bunch of signs that made me happy. Do you all have a ritual that you do before you get on stage? Break alcohol. The shakies. Yeah, we do a shaky. Yeah. We pray. We pray. We pray. We do and just be on three, and then we do a shaky. Actually, the shaky does help a lot. I think I like performing sober better than performing drunk. Guys, at the Tampa show we did a while back, I was absolutely destroyed. With I haven't performed sober. You never performed sober. I noticed it. You can't I speak, bro. Can't, bro. Dude, yesterday you were going crazy. Bro. Yeah, you were pretty wild. You're like, like I'm oh, fucked up, bro. I'm <laughs> oh, so fucked up. If you guys know the lyrics, sing along, because I don't know the lyrics right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sing right now. Anything, any other rituals you guys do before you get up on stage? I get pretty shy, but then I imagine all the sexy ads of me and I go crazy. I've actually wondered. Wait, wait, hold on. <laughs> That's a very Ryan answer. Do you guys get nervous, anxious before going to stage? Yeah, if I of course. Did, yeah. Especially yeah. yesterday. Do you know yeah, yesterday when I was a, uh, we you know those little step ups? I was, I felt my legs shaking. Bro. Really? I was shaking. That's how I felt at the first Roxy concert we did. <laughs> Cause, uh, my yeah. legs is actually shaking. Cause I don't know if I'm gonna uh, go at the right moment. That's why uh, I'm nervous about. When, we're, when we were doing an intermission with uh, the type of, uh, Tortilla thing, my legs are shaking the whole time. Like, really? Yeah, I don't know why. I'm, I've too, never, I've never really? been nervous. I'm nervous. I'm chilling. I think yeah, it was because all the adrenaline I just performed. I was um, nervous right beforehand, and like we were going hype. And that was the most hype. I was nervous until Justin gave me a shaky shaky. <laughs> that was me, bro. Was it you? <laughs> someone, someone behind me gave me a shaky shaky. That's crazy, bro. I remember massaging your back. I didn't give you one That's yesterday. Crazy. I gave you one in San Antonio. I remember. Oh, I gave you so were you nervous? Yeah. These shows? I was massaging that um, on the shoulders, bro. Was San no Antonio? No. Dallas, I was a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice. yeah. oh I know. We I saw know, right. We saw we saw all these days. He was like, mm-hmm. Really? I was getting ready, bro. I wasn't nervous at all. No, we weren't nervous. We just, like, king gang. I'm nervous until Ollie goes on stage. When Ollie goes on stage, I'm not nervous. Bro, Seb was <laughs> tap dancing last night, bro. No, that boy was, 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 was stomping. He was fucking tap dancing. It was so funny. It was so loud. Bro, bro that shit was too loud. Yeah, that yeah, was kind of cool. cool. No, I, I liked it. it. I liked yeah, it. I liked it, it too. I love the adrenaline. Who gets the most carried away on stage? Reggie. Reggie. <laughs> Reggie. <laughs> fucking Reggie. Me. Carried away. You need to be out of pocket. We do some crazy shit. Yeah, like when you break the speakers. <laughs> Why did break the speakers? And when you spell alcohol on the DJ. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the same Guys, you know, um, Dallas show, I think we did a way too much water. Like, water. Hey, okay, do you mind fixing <laughs> that the so camera? Fire. That was so fire. That's so worth it, bro. Oh, it's falling. It's falling. Actually, all of our sleep schedules fucked, bro. Like, bro, yeah. everyone is, bro. Dude, what, what time y'all yeah. go to sleep last night? Dude, it's 7 a.m. again. I went to bed at 8. <laughs> I went to bed at almost four. Huh? Did you Yeah, at Motel 6. It was too hot, no. At Motel 6, Wait, bro. We went oh, I remember. No, bro. Matt needed one because he stayed up all night fixing well, the Was I the, tripping the or did you walk out of the bathroom with someone? No, no, that was you were tripping, bro. Uh, was I that time? I, it was like 9 a.m. No, I have not walked inside that bathroom once this whole trip. I refuse to go inside oh, that bathroom. Oh, someone was in there. Someone was in there. So, so you went to go take a shower at like 8 a.m.? At Motel 6, yes. Yeah. At Motel 6, why that? Because there's no... Because when Matt was trying to get a hotel at where, where we're next to, they said there was no room. So, no, they're lying. No, 
why why couldn't you take a shower in the shower room? Because it was too late. Oh, boom, motherfucker. All you guys were done at like six in the morning. Yeah. And the agent was knocked the fuck out. <laughs> so I'm um, so the baby was like the baby was like, uh yeah, we just closed the door because we just uh, uh I was the first one to take a shower at two AM and then I walked in, I walked out in the bus wasn't there and I walked around the whole motel <laughs> and the bus didn't come back until 5.30 a.m. and I was just chilling. <laughs> I have a question for everyone. I'm gonna ask myself. On a scale of 1 to 10, how chilling are you on tour so far? I'm also pretty chilling. I'm, I'm pretty chilling. I'm chilling. Other than the shot situation, yeah. other than the shot situation, I'll, I'll give myself like an 8. Bro, I'm at like a 5 right now, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I'll say like 7, chilling. Chillin'. Bro, I, how, many, how, how many shows in do you think is your breaking point? Me? 16, bro. It's always like 16, 16 or 17. Dude, I think, I think the next four shows. <laughs> I'm not gonna cap, bro. Dude, dude. bro. you barely do shit, dude. Damn! Dude, it was so bumpy, I fucking woke up <laughs> by yeah, my but, head, bro. Yeah, That's but not everyone hit their head. Bro. What bunk you have? The yeah, middle one, bro. The middle? That shit ass. I think the middle was the worst one, though. So, like, so <laughs> like whenever Reggie's leg hits it, I feel it from the back, and then fucking, <laughs> fucking, whenever that road gets bumpy, I hit my head on top, bro. I'm fucking bro, I'm not gonna lie, Reggie, it's funny seeing you crawl in and out of your bed. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, if it's some, the way you do it is just really funny. It's like a giant monkey just walking. <laughs> And all my boxers in there. Yeah. <laughs> I like my bone. Dude, no, I, I get costly. I like my bone. I, like like I feel like I it's all the bottom. bottom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, it makes me. It makes me feel like it's a. It's a coffin. You know, like it you, is a coffin. You pull it up, it's, it's like a coffin, bro. Yeah. It I makes know. it feel safe. I don't know. No, no it, it doesn't. Like neck, it makes me. It makes my neck stiff. Bro. Yeah. I like it. I'm I think I slept the best here out of any time I had it. No. Oh. I'm not even lying to you, bro. I had the best sleep here. Yeah. I love sleeping on rides. I, I do as well. You don't gotta wake up when you gotta get into a car, you know? Like, you just Ollie, sleep throughout the ride. Ollie can deal with the heat though, because he always be like turning the heat around. Oh, the AC like, low key be chilly, bro. That's what I'm saying. Oh, it'd, I always shut the cold, cold sometimes. Yeah, yeah I always cold shut the AC. Alright, be cold. Man. All right, yeah. Oh, but, but having the uh, air vents inside your bunk is yeah, so clutch, so man. Because you can just like flip it for a fast breeze. Yo, let me put you on. Sleep the other way. It's 20 times better. What? Oh. Like the opposite side. Yeah. Why? Wow. Uh, okay. It just is. I mean, Yo, you, you know what keeps me awake? The freaking, you know, the uh, buttons yeah, no, for the like... lights? Yes, bro. That's just like shiny right I'm on my face. I'm about to get an electrical duct tape just so I can put over Bro, it. wait. You guys usually can't sleep because of oh. one tiny light? Yes, yes bro. Oh. bro. How's that uh, thing? My, my bunk already has because the It shines on my head, bro. It's like right, right there. It's bro, like... you're looking this way. That's light. Wait, what light? There's no light in mine. You can probably have tape on yours as well. Oh, yeah. I don't have any light. I need to tape it, bro. Dude, you guys are looking this way, bro. I don't see shit. This is from Heather. Not a question, but I can't wait to see you guys in LA. Thank you for allowing me to travel and meet so many of my friends. You're pushing me to achieve my goals and dreams, too. Let's go, Heather. I'm sweating, Heather. Love you, Heather. Love you, miss Heather. you, Heather. Heather, I'm sweating. And we cannot wait to see you. I got a fart, Heather. Heather. Shower, Heather. Dude! Dude, you're pressing on me, bro. You're... It's not my fault. Bro. What's right. you guys' favorite merch piece of the tour? The hoodie, the hoodie. I'll take this one. The one that oh, that says the, one. the one that says the tour dates. I like the hoodie. So this one? Yeah. I like the one with the the quotes. The quotes? Mm -hmm. I like the poster. I'm starting to kinda I'm starting to dig the Frankenstein one. Oh. Dude, y'all love the Frankenstein one. <laughs> I like those. I like digging the photo cards. The photo cards are fun. <laughs> bro, Reggie's <laughs> Bro, why'd you choose that? Why'd you use that photo, bro? They told me a selfie cool. I didn't know you could do it. You should've used the bro, one with what? your long hair, bro. Oh, it was just one. Oh, this is a good one. Who wakes up the latest on tour? Okay. Pardon me. What y'all think about them throwing their bras on stage? It has not happened yet, but I cannot wait for the day it happens. Yeah, I, got any bra I, I don't think it will bro. ever happen. There are people I think bras it will happen. Bro, they almost moshed last night. Yeah. I almost saw them. You tell them, tell them back up, back up. No, no, but like in the middle, they were like going crazy jumping. Kind of like how our pre parties when you put on like Beyonce or something. Girls moshing, that's a car. Who farted? Who farted? Who farted? All my mom knows. All my mom was me. What is the easiest thing about tour and the hardest thing about tour? I'll say the easiest thing for me is performing. I, I just have so much fun. Even if I mess up or it's not exactly how I imagined it to go, it's still a lot of fun. I think the hardest thing though is the showers. For mental and physical health, I'll say that. 
I would say the easiest thing for me is anything really on stage because it's just fun. It is a lot of fun. Yeah. Even if I like, <laughs> like in the Dallas show, was like I couldn't get it to work <laughs> right before Kadoku set. Um, but I would say the hardest thing is logistics. Planning everything, getting the stage set up. I was just up, about to say. All of that gets them. Oh my god, I am so stressed out before the show. In Dallas, you were running around like a true manager. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Are you saying real. that most of the time I'm not? No, no, <laughs> I'm because outside of tour, you know, like, you're uh, not running around. It's like calm and collected. But like this, you're running around oh making sure that god. every small detail is that was crazy. Perfect. Would you accept stuff from the stars during the shows? Yes, we do. We actually brought a whole trailer just for it. We are running out of space, so <laughs> yeah, it's already like okay, like hey, over guys, a quarter pack. I tell the camera this, but we're taking care of the whole entire tour by ourselves. So the power of the stars, you guys are what's like funding us. So, like we gotta stay on budget to make sure that we can yeah. do more shows. And, and that's why I keep on saying. That's why we all keep on saying that we could not have done this this tour without you guys because uh, I I feel like a lot of artists they have like a record label or like a big oh, company or like a tour like deal where they get paid up front for everything we're not getting paid for this is a hundred percent funded from the stars and us yeah we're doing this for for to see all of y'all you know making sure that we save up enough money to do this even if we lose money from that i think it's still a good experience uh, absolutely. my question yeah. would you kiss a star on stage would you ever do yeah it? yeah yeah oh shoot do you think it's gonna happen on this tour I think so. You think so? I think Ooh, so. Ooh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I guess the way I look at it is like, like I like to live free. Yeah? And in the moment. Yes. So okay. if the moment is ever there, then, okay. then yeah. Let me, actually, let me paint you a picture of what our life looks like on a day-to-day -day on tour. Yeah. Have you, have, have you told them yet? No, tell them. Okay. So, we generally wake up probably around 7 to 8 o'clock is bus call. So what happens is the bus leaves towards the venue in the morning. We get there, we load in at about one o'clock, and then it takes me about two hours to get everything set up inside. The boys are getting ready in the green room and everything like that for the pre-party. We get sound checks done, we get light checks done, we get everything prepared for the set. That takes all together about four hours before the show. Then the pre-party starts. After the pre-party goes on for about an hour and a half, and sometimes we do have special guests, we do our NSB show and after the show we do our special meet and greet and then after our meet and greet what we've been doing lately is we've been inviting a special 10 guests onto our bus to hang out with us and party with us after the bus for about 15 20 minutes um, and that has been an amazing experience but then it's like midnight sometimes it's one or two o'clock and then we gotta go to sleep or go to a hotel and, and then repeat, what, repeat rinse and repeat so like the whole entire day so Oliver has to figure out time during from I guess after 2 a.m. to 8, 8 a.m. to yeah. like edit the YouTube video. So definitely shout out to him. Thank you. You know what's crazy? Um, we're at the show, the venue, for from 10 to 12 hours. Yeah. Every show. Yeah. I don't think people know that. I think, pe you know, sometimes I think that people think that our, you know, people who perform at shows just arrive, like do a quick sound check and then get on stage. No, there's a lot of preparation. Shout out to our staff, our media team and everybody to help load in. We have merch tables and all that good stuff that we had to set up. It's a lot of work. We're doing this all ourselves. We don't have like this whole crew and a whole nother bus. No cap. Well, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, make sure you follow Tyler on his socials and all the other boys sure. will be down in the description as well. Um, I'm gonna go edit this video right now, so. I'll make sure you, you leave a like. Comment, subscribe, and, and turn, turn on, on post, post notifications. notifications. I love you, stars, and I'll see you guys at the next show in Austin, Texas. Sitting Bye. on the side, I panic out my mind.